Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Pleased to be here, as always. I have a question for you, because, you know, I, I try to be as interactive as possible with these reviews, and I have a direct question for you right now. You could, you could just shout it at the screen. Even if I can't hear it, you could still just do it anyway. Do you know what today is? And again, just, you, you could just shout it out right now. Do you know what today is? All right, that answer is true, but this is family friendly, so we're not going to go there this time around. You're not going to believe this. Ongoing, as we speak, is Bacon Mania from Papa John's. Bacon Mania from Papa John's. I know, you can't, you, know, you can't believe it either. I certainly can't. As a matter of fact, I was in such disbelief that my vest actually changed color on me, and that's how I wound up with this one. Um, that's, that's what happens sometimes when the shock is just too much. But yeah, Bacon Mania. From Papa John's, can you believe that? It's bacon mania. Yeah, but you know, bacon though, it's one of those things that I know about a decade ago, not, not even a decade ago, it was maybe around 2012 or so, I think it was. Do you remember when, when everyone was obsessed with bacon, you know, it was bacon this and bacon that and bacon everything, bacon scented this, bacon t-shirts, uh, you know, you name it. Uh, everyone was obsessed with bacon. And granted, while that craze, you know, I don't think it's, where it was, obviously bacon still does have a place, especially in the world of fast food and uh, all of that. So, you know, bacon is one of those things that certainly is still, is still celebrated to an extent, still promoted, and that is what the latest promotion from Papa John's is precisely. They said, you know, it's bacon mania. We're going to be all about bacon for the next month or two. So they've released three bacon-themed items, uh, the most prominent of which, though, is a pizza. And that's why I kind of have the camera a little further out than usual, because I'm bringing the pizza that's right over here, and you're going to get a great view of it. Um, but with this Bacon Mania frenzy, they have released the Triple Bacon Pizza. And what it is, you know, because I know a name like that is really, it's very ambiguous, you know, Triple Bacon Pizza, right? What exactly does this have to offer? And um, I know a lot of people are wondering that, so this is what it's got on it. It is a large pizza, so it's one of those items that only comes in one size. So, you know, you, you might just have to be a little feisty, have a feisty appetite, um, if you plan to tackle this yourself or, uh, you know, kind of share it with some friends or family otherwise. But it's a large pizza, and it comes with three different types of bacon on it. It features smoky bacon crumbles, it also features Canadian bacon, and then the pizza is topped with bacon strips. So that's why they call it that, because it has three types of bacon on it, and um, that's the big focus. Now, of course, it also has cheese and regular sauce on it, so it's not like you're just getting the dough with the bacon on it. It, it does come with cheese and sauce. It's just a pizza with, you know, a variety of bacon, and uh, that's the big selling point. The price for it is $13, so $13 for a large pie, which is uh, still, you know, not too bad. The triple bacon pizza from Papa John's, though, celebrating bacon mania. So this is what the box looks like. Now, they're still going with the stuffed crust promotion, but I think this is a means of marketing. Um, because what they do is you look at this... And I think the expected reaction of the customer is to get this, and you're going to be in a state of shock. You're going to be thinking to yourself, no, I got the triple bacon one, not the stuffed crust. What's going on? And then in this moment of dismay, you're going to open the box, and you're going to see that bacon, and everything is going to get better. And the physical storm cloud that was manifesting around your head will dissipate, and a little rainbow will pop up. Um, in its place. This is what it looks like, though. Let's take a look. I will get a thumbnail shot first, just for the heck of it. 
and um, I'll do something like this. And then we'll get one a little closer. I know it feels like I'm kind of sitting there forever, you know, trying to do this, but the thumbnail is important. Um, but you could definitely see on the pizza, you can see the bacon strips and uh, all of that there. You know, definitely a very, I don't know, a bacony pizza. So that's what it looks like, though. And uh, now let's just grab a slice. Let's pick a slice, any slice. This looks like a good bacon-filled slice, I suppose. And now let's get a better view of it. All right, so you could see some of the different types of bacon near the front, and then the bacon strips. But again, just it's a pizza with a lot of bacon on it. That's all that can really be said. So with that, let's try it out. The uh, triple bacon pizza from Papa John's, it's going in. It's not bad. Not bad at all. The thing that you have to remember with this pizza, though, and I know to some it might kind of sound self-explanatory, but it still needs to be outlined nonetheless. I think in order to really enjoy this pizza and to kind of sit there and, you know, say, oh, this, is, this, is, this is solid, you're going to have to like bacon to enjoy that. And I know some people might say it's an over, but, you know, still, you got to outline that just in case, um, because definitely you're going to be tasting a lot of bacon. It's going to be there in every single bite um, to some capacity. I would only say, you know, of course, the crust is the only thing that wouldn't have any bacon on it. Otherwise, the rest of the pizza in its entirety, it's bacon, and it's all bacon. Um, the cheese is kind of, you know, it's there, it still tastes good, but the cheese is an afterthought, and it's really just all the bacon. Um, as a result of that, though, this is a rather greasy um, pizza, so bear that in mind, you know, as you're eating it, um, that it is definitely a greasier, a greasier pizza. All the different types of the bacon blend well. You have the little bacon crumbles, which um, are sprinkled throughout, and you get some of that in every bite. The bacon strips, um, one nice thing about that is that there's a nice crisp to them. And I think you could see that when I was showing you the pizza. Um, there's a nice crisp to them, and that just kind of, it works, and it adds a little, a little extra to the slice. Um, and then you have the Canadian bacon, which is, you know, thicker cut. And uh, you can see, like, right there, you know, it's cut in these little, I think they said it's like julienne uh, cut, I believe. Mm-hmm. And those you might not be getting at every single bite, but when you do, you're certainly going to be able to taste it, because in terms of, let's say, volume of bacon, it's the Canadian bacon that certainly has the most, but everything else is still there. So the compliment that I give this pizza is the topping distribution. A lot of times these days, you know, you have various pizzas that they're marketed as having this or that, and then you go out and you get it, and it doesn't look anything like how it's advertised. And there's nowhere near as many toppings as you expected there to be, 
or perhaps paid for, and uh, that always is a bit problematic. Uh, this, on the other hand, I think as you could evidently see, there are a lot of toppings on it, and it does appear to be exactly as advertised. They say it has a lot of bacon on it. They say that bacon is the main, um, the main point, the main focal point of the pizza. Indeed, there is a lot of bacon. So, it tastes good for what it is. One good thing is that you might wonder, okay, you have all this bacon, but does it get too overwhelmingly salty and too overwhelmingly greasy? And I wouldn't say so. The biggest thing that I think helps moderate everything is the sauce, this robust tomato sauce, um, that there's a good amount of it on the pizza, and, um, you know, it works, and it just kind of helps keep it from just getting overbearing and overwhelming. So the sauce is really a, a very important characteristic and aspect of this pizza, because that's what keeps all of the bacon in check, I would say. Um, but otherwise, it's one of those pizzas that, again, you know, not too much to say, except I think it tastes as one would expect it to. Very greasy, you know, very bacony. Um, but if you like those flavors, then you're going to enjoy this pizza. Dip a tiny bit in some garlic for the heck of it. The creamy garlic sauce, I mean, it complements the pizza all right, but I think it's best for the crust. Mm -hmm. It gives a good boost to what would otherwise be, you know, just a very basic crust. Um, so definitely, I mean, it'll come with the garlic sauce. Feel free to take advantage of that, because um, it'll definitely work in your favor. So that said, I think it's a pretty straightforward pizza, but it's exactly as advertised. Um, nothing misleading, and a good amount of toppings as well. So therefore, factoring in the price too, you know, 13 bucks. You consider it. You consider the volume of the toppings that you're getting too. That's a solid deal these days. So price-wise... I would say it's priced reliably as well, so no issues there. So out of 10, what am I going to be rating? The triple bacon pizza from Papa John's. Out of 10, I'm gonna be giving this, uh, I would say an 8.2 out of 10. Pretty good for what it is. Um, no real huge issues here. So certainly a little bit above average, and if you like bacon, I think you'll like this pizza. So wanted to give it a shot, tried it out, and that's all that I have for you. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. Thank you for checking out this review. Until next time.